Turbo Tricks in here with another tricks tip. Today we'll be going over DIY skateboard and grip tape art. So first you're going to want to get some blank skateboard decks. Here we have a stack of blanks that haven't been the art that haven't had the art done for them. And here we have some boards that have had the art done for them. So when you're doing this, there's obviously a lot of different mediums you can use in terms of your art supplies. So for some of those, what I used was paint sticks and mops to create the, uh, the original stain and then some of the artwork for it. And I also used paint markers uh, as well. But you can also use spray paint and silk screening. Um, silk screening being how most companies will do their artwork for their boards but i'm going to cut to going outside and clear coating a board that i had already given a stain and did some artwork on with paint pens and give it a nice clear coat and i'm also going to spray paint some stencil art onto some grip tape so let's cut to that now that we're outside we can get ready to get this all primed up not a Turbo Tricks and video without at least one car shot in it. If you love this Subi. We also got the Bobcat here, which we'll be making some trails for biking in another video. But right now we're, we're focusing on skateboards. So this is the board which I had stained and I'm getting ready to clear coat with some Rust-Oleum, matte clear coat enamel. So this is a matte coat, so it's not gonna be exactly shiny, but it will make the, uh, the artwork a little more durable. And then I have some gold paint. So this is actually the same gold paint I used for the wheels on the Subaru. Um, I'll make another video of that process, but it's the only spray paint I have lying around right now. Um, and I'll actually cut real quick to show you the mops I use to give the board to stain. So transition that. Okay, so when I say mop, this is what I'm referring to. It is a liquid bottle with a felt tip on it. And when you push it down, give it a squeeze, it creates a color. We also have some coilovers, which we put it on the Subaru. So let's get started on the uh, clear coat. This is the tail end of this can, so use as much of it as we can. So we're gonna let that dry and then give it another coat once it's all dried. Okay guys, so we made some stencils out of some cereal boxes of some cameras. So we're gonna spray paint that outline on these blank sheets of grip tape with that uh, gold paint. So let's cut to that.
So how we got those stencils made was with a cereal box and an X-Acto knife. Print off an image that you want to replicate and then you kind of trace out the details you want. It's not too difficult to make and you're pretty much limited by your own creativity. But one of these stencils you can spend an hour to make. It's essentially just a cutout. When you don't have the border, you get that excess spray. And when you have it a little cut out like that, you don't get as much of that excess spray. And see the back of the uh, cereal box there. But I chose cameras for this one, but you can do whatever. Okay guys, we're back inside and we're gonna now grip a skateboard. So, just made a uh, little cut here. Just gonna up on a time lapse and uh, yeah, quickly show you the process of uh, gripping a board. So gripping the board, it's just like the artwork on the bottom. It's just another way of personal expression. You can grip a board however you want. I did a little bit of a tear design and then I got it off center on it. I just think it gives it a unique look. quick doodle on a deck. forward to uh, getting to the golf course. Adam Clark. Okay guys, end up getting caught up with the game of golf with uh, guys here, but not doing too bad. Just uh, try to clean things up. Get the uh, fishing wedge. Yeah, I'll take it home. 
Adam Park and five. Wow. That was thank you. We're wearing these sunglasses for the game. Check out the uh Tyler Vision. A real life filter. I said, I'm missing a ping putter. Do you have it? You see, my putter's over there. Go look. I think that's called the lost and found, buddy. What <laughs> you mean to tell me that that's got a free store in there? Yeah, no, it is the lost and found. That's why I feel bad about it already. It's just, you know what it is? It's probably some you know what's funny? Ass. Yeah, you know what's funny? <laughs> some poor, like, maybe 11 year old is going to go in there about now with the hand. What an absolute beauty. This is where we get one of these. So uh, once a week every Thursday? Yeah. Whipping the golf cart around. Nothing like finishing up the day with a game of golf. We made a lot of progress on the skateboard deck. Ripping them up, and we are going to Lynch in Boston tomorrow to try to sell them. So, if you're interested, come to Lynch. Yo, guys, what is going on? We're back at it. Lincoln here, about to hit a nasty ball 2.0. He is playing the Titleist Pro V1. Three dollars a ball. There's a frog right there if you want to see him. <laughs> Probably not going to be able to see that. Play it as it lies. Oh. I'm gonna use a three iron here. She runs a little stiff. Lincoln, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw you record, baby. <laughs> Quite on the dance floor, almost up. We got the putter. This will be a long range putt. We got the wrong club. I thought the pressure might throw you. Solid 
wicked skids. Okay, guys. Driving her home. Driving her home, guys. Ready? This is gonna be a sick edit. I don't know I'm gonna do it all this way. <laughs> Phoenix is looking to drive the green here. Saw a spark on that. That will be close. Yeah, so that went right on the dance floor, guys. Well, let's cut to that. What's up guys? That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. We'll be selling those skateboards that we did the art for and some of that grip tape at Lynch Skate Park in Boston tomorrow. So yeah, that'll be the video tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed. Turbo Trixon, out. Since birthday, got a puppet. Now I'm back in a 